Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna be checking out a video titled, What You Should Never Say to a Polish Person. And the thumbnail is the reason why I'm clicking on this video. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get right into this video. This guy actually has 12.8 thousand subscribers. I was literally gonna say, go show my boy some love and help him get to a thousand subscribers. He's already there. But um, yeah, still no worries. A link will be in the description for this video. So go ahead and go check out the original video. And let's learn what we, you know, shouldn't say to a Polish person. I'd imagine it's probably, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it would be, but um, let's find out. Thank you for watching. Any recommendations, leave those in the comment section down below. Preferably click that link in the pinned comment section. You can recommend videos and I'll check them out as soon as possible. Without further ado, let's go into this video. If you ever meet someone from Poland, do not make the mistake I did. Trust me, it is a big no-no. Let me tell you what happened. So I was on a flight and I ended up sitting next to this really friendly Polish guy. We started chatting, talking about our favorite places to travel, food and whatnot. He was telling me about the amazing cities in Poland like Warsaw and Krakow. And I have to say this, the way he spoke about his country made me want to book a flight right then and there. That is just when it happened. I made what felt like the biggest travel mistake ever. I said this, Poland must be one of the most beautiful places in Eastern Europe. Mm. Poland must be one of the Eastern Europe nonsense. Yeah. Um, I think, you know, to go about the way how we live our lives on a daily day to base, don't add to what you're saying. If that, if that statement makes sense. So you're beautiful you're 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 so skilled as a as a woman why do you add the as a woman don't describe it just say what you're feeling oh wow you're so skilled you're so skilled as a 12 year old kid you're so skilled for a man you can cook don't do that oh you can cook that's amazing you see the difference so i think those additives is what messes up everything you know even if you're amazed just don't add stuff because you don't know how that might impact. I actually think that's very important in, um, you know, learning how to be a better communicator, in my humble opinion. Take ever. I said this. Poland must be one of the most beautiful places in Eastern Europe. Poland must be one of the most beautiful places in Eastern Europe. Now, that is when the vibe completely changed. His smile faded and the conversation suddenly felt very awkward. You know that moment when you realize you've stepped on a cultural landmine? Yes, that was me. He looked at me and said, Poland is not in Eastern Europe. It is Central Europe. Poland is not Eastern Europe. It is Central Europe. I tried to recover, but it was too late. I had already ruined the conversation. I even tried to lighten the mood by saying, at least it is not as cold as Siberia, right? Yeah, bad idea. The guy just opened a book and ignored me for the rest of the flight. Now, after that awkward flight, I was curious. Why is calling Poland Eastern Europe such a big deal? So I did a bit of research and here is what I found. Apparently, calling Poland Eastern Europe carries a lot of historical baggage it goes back to the Cold War era, when Poland and other countries in the region were grouped under the Eastern Bloc, which was heavily influenced by the Soviet Union. But that is not how Poland sees itself today. Poles feel like they belong to Central Europe, an identity tied more closely to Western Europe in terms of cultural history and values. And honestly, I get it now. Poland wants to be recognized for what it is, a country with a unique culture and history, not just lumped into a label that no longer fits. After I got off that flight, I couldn't help but wonder, am I the only one who made this mistake? So I asked around and read some stories online, and you wouldn't believe how many people have had similar awkward moments with Poles. I once told a Polish friend that I loved visiting Eastern Europe. He gave me a death stare and said, You mean Central Europe? 
never made that mistake again. I spoke to a guy from Poland if it felt weird being so close to Russia. He didn't speak to me for the rest of the day. I thought I was being polite by saying Eastern Europe, but my Polish colleague looked super annoyed and said, we are not. Yeah, like, but like, even if like you look on a map and you're like, oh yeah, this is here and that is there and it seems like it's in the east whatever like what does it have to do with poland like that's my only question what like i've made it very clear many times i live in finland i moved here for a while now and i've been here right i've never once said i live in east europe that that that, that how does that that, that that's not where you live though you live in finland so oh wow poland just talk about poland stop adding shit it's the best thing that you could do as a human just stop adding the unnecessary things to the the conversation it doesn't make it spicy it just makes it you know potentially harmful eastern europeans awkward so yeah i'm definitely not alone on this one apparently a lot of people have been through the same thing so the moral of the story is this if you ever meet someone from Poland, avoid calling it Eastern Europe. Just say Central Europe and you will save yourself from a lot of awkwardness. Trust me, learn from my mistake. So have you ever had an awkward travel moment or accidentally offended? I ain't never had none of that. I don't talk to random people. I'm sorry, I don't. What's the point of it? Like, if I'm a talk to somebody, it can't be about anything too crazy. You gotta be like, I'll listen to you and I'll be like, oh, okay, cool. That's it, you know. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not the most social guy, you know. I just care for knowledge and that's about it. And outside of that, what's the point of socializing? Socializing, in my humble opinion, is the reason why we have wars, hate, and all these things. Because if we don't socialize, we won't hate. That's just the reality, right? And, um... I've said this quite some times, one of the main reasons why Finland is safe is not because special or the people are different, it's a social aspect. Socialization can either break or make, and most of the times it breaks. I'm one from another country, drop your stories in the comments, I would love to hear them. And hey, if you found this video... Yeah bro, pretty cool. But either ways guys, thank you for watching this video, I'm out of here, peace.